you. So today, we're gonna get inspired by my four hour kitchen transformation. Yay! And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here as well as little bell so you are notified when I upload videos every single week. So let's kind of get into a little bit of a history really quickly about my kitchen transformation. So when I bought my house, I initially did the Rust-Oleum transformation kit on my cabinets, which I did in a Kona, which at the moment, I really, really loved it. And now with all of this two-tone gray and me painting my entire life gray, my kitchen needed to also be gray. And of course, I really wanted to brighten her up a little bit and do those two-tone of white and that gray on the bottom. So like I mentioned before, I will say I absolutely highly recommend the Rust-Oleum Transformation Kit. So the reason why I did not do that again is that it's a very long process because I really did it right. Like I took off all the hardware, I took off all the cabinet doors, I painted the front and the back, and it just took a very long time. But if you have the patience and the time, I do highly recommend that kit. And another reason why I chose not to use the kit is because I really wanted to do two colors and each kit is like a hundred and some dollars and I didn't want to spend $200 on doing my cabinets again when I really could spend literally less than $60 on the paint. And the third reason why I chose to do the way that I did it this time is that with this method, you can choose any color under the rainbow that you like versus the Rust-Oleum kit, which has only a select color choices. So I did choose two colors, which were Sherwin-Williams uh, pink colors. The top I chose Snowbound, and the bottom, Cheating Heart, yes. All right, so now before we roll out with this video, of course I do want to preference that I kind of did it the lazy way, that I did not take off the hinges. I only painted the exterior doors as my inside were that Kona color, and I did not mind the inside of the cabinets being that colored brown. Let's just roll into this video so I can show you how I did it in four hours. All right, all the things we will need, which are paint, a bottle liquid sander, the roller, and then an extra foam roller for the other color, and then t-shirt rags. Then the fun parts, yeah, we got the paint, the hardware, and some fun glue. So here, of course, is the before with the Kona, and loved it, but definitely ready for a change. So the first step is, of course, take off the hardware. You can take off as much as you want. I only did the knobs. Now is that liquid sander. You're gonna be literally putting this all over um, the anything that is paintable. So this will really help with the paint adhering to each crevice without actually having to sand. It dries very quickly. And then the next, as you can see, I actually did some test colors, but you're just gonna do some rolling. You're just gonna roll like crazy. And then I did use a little one and a half inch core, uh, angled brush to kind of like do the size that I couldn't get with the roller. Now is the time for this project where you play the best music that you can possibly play that will keep you motivated to keep painting. And then there she is after one coat of paint right there, looking pretty good. Now we're gonna do the white. So there she is. Definitely probably would have been better if I did use maybe a primer on these cabinets as the Kona was so dark. But you know, it's all the same. So that's the one coat down. Doesn't look bad, actually kind of crazy, but you know, that's one coat. And then next, of course, I'm gonna be showing you the second coat. So look at that, just made it a dramatic difference doing the second coat. I actually used four coats of the white because it really was peeking through, but only two coats of that dark gray. All right, now for the hardware. So I realized after I bought these poles, I didn't have the right setup for these screws and whatnot. So I only had one. So I was like, I gotta think about it. So I used this Gorilla epoxy glue, and I was like, you know, I think this is how I'm gonna just stick them on to the drawers. So what I will tell you is that adding more glue like in the center, maybe around like the, the rounded part is actually better. So a couple of them actually added a lot more glue, and they stayed on beautifully. Like honestly, I was really surprised at how how they actually worked and of course those are those other pulls that I use from Amazon really excited it really completed the project with this brushed brass hardware 
I cannot believe how much brighter that my kitchen is, and as I say, my kitchen is much happier now. I am absolutely in love with this project. Like literally every single time that I see my cabinets, I literally smile ear to ear because it makes me excited. And it actually turned out better than I thought it was going to be. And it was much faster than I anticipated. So I wanna know if you have done the Rust-Oleum transformation kit or if you have used this Dutch Boy paint method, I seriously want to know and see your cabinet transformation. And of course, this is good for any kind of cabinets, just not kitchen cabinets. Do your bath cabinets, do anything. Like, just have fun with it. And of course, reach out to me on Instagram. That's a great way for you to send me pictures of your cabinet projects, your DIY projects, or you just being as fabulous as you can possibly be. So let's all share the positivity, learn from each other, and make this world a better place, one positive comment at a time. And I wanna thank you all. I so appreciate each and every single one of you. I honestly do. And we will see you soon.